All right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. On um, thank you for joining us on your Central Valley Live. My name is Gabe Salazar. Well, it is also St. Patrick's Day as well, um, and it is the month of the Irish. So today, lots of things happening. Of course, the third stimulus check uh, is already hitting some bank accounts today, just days after President Biden signed the American Rescue Act into law. So major U.S. banks and credit unions must make the first wave of stimulus payments available to. Eligible customers by today at 9 a.m. local time, which is the official payment date designated by the IRS. But while some households will see the funds as early as this week, others may be in for a longer wait. Now, the check's arrival is squarely um, in line in the middle of tax season, which is already complicated this year. So this means you may still be busy filing taxes when the checks actually start coming in. Now, given the timing of those third stimulus checks in the previous year's taxes merging into the same lane, uh, you no doubt got a lot of questions such as, will your eligibility for the new payment be based on your 2019 or your 2020 taxes? Or what if you didn't file taxes in 2019 or don't don't file a return before the new bill passes. Now, uh, joining us this morning to answer all your burning questions is Miss Jennifer Hernandez, who is a tax pro from Jackson Hewitt. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning, uh, Jennifer. Good morning. All right. So the first question I want to ask, uh, probably a question that a lot of people are wondering is, will the stimulus check be based on our 2019 or our 2020 tax return? It will be based on whichever tax return was most recently filed and processed. So if you didn't file your 2020 yet, it will be based on your 2019. If you filed your 2020, it was accepted by the IRS. That's what it will be based on. Okay, so it's going to be the most recent uh, tax return that you uh, last filed. So what will happen if your income was higher in 2020, but the IRS uses your 2019 taxes? Okay, so as long as as you're meeting the same income and, and limitations you should be fine okay and also will i owe the irs tax on my stimulus payment i know some are worrying that the money will get reported as income on your 2020 or 2021 uh, tax returns yeah no these stimulus payments are non-taxable okay sounds good so um what do you do if your stimulus payment never shows up or if money was missing well, actually, you can call uh, the IRS at 1-800-829-1040, and you can put a payment trace on your uh, stimulus payment. Okay, and we'll touch on that more in a bit because I know there's a lot of involved in it, but just taking a look at the big picture here, uh, opponents of the package, which included all Republican members of Congress, accused the bill of being a Trojan horse used by Democrats to usher in partisan priorities under the guise of pandemic relief. Now, Republican lawmakers haven't been the only one to raise concerns. The sheer magnitude of the fund has prompted lively discussions within economic and political circles about whether it's too large for its own good. So whether inflation is now in the cards. Now, um, according to your knowledge, will the rollout of these stimulus checks cause inflation and just wreak havoc in the economy? Well, you know, some people are getting deposits of over eight thousand dollars so i think that putting that money into the economy is going to be a good thing okay sounds good and just um talking about some different situations now so i know a lot uh, a lot of people got their stimulus checks today but for those who are still waiting who should file taxes now to get a larger stimulus check okay so if you had a baby in 2020 um, you'd want to file your tax return now so that you get the stimulus for that child. If you adopted a child in 2020 um, that wasn't on your 2019 tax return, or if you're adding a dependent, for example, if a parent, uh, you, this is your year to claim the child you didn't claim in 2019, you'd want to claim, you want to file your 2020 tax return to claim that child on your tax return so that you make sure you get the stimulus for that child now. All right, so sounds good. So just to recap some of the situations where it would be beneficial to uh, file taxes now to get a larger stimulus check would be if your income was lower in 2020, if you had a child in 2020, or if you got married uh, this past year. Um, and so who now who should wait to file taxes to increase their stimulus check? Okay, well, if you are losing a child on your tax return for 2020 or losing a dependent, um, that you're not going to be claiming in 2020, I would wait so that you make sure you get your stimulus based off of your 2019 dependents. All right, and just touching on something that you mentioned earlier, people who 
didn't get the first or second stimulus payments they were owed have been told to pretty much recoup their money at tax time now before you file the stimulus credit on your taxes the missing payment needs to be traced so how do you trace it okay so you can call irs at 1-800-829-1040 uh, and put a payment trace on that. All right, and um, who can claim a recovery rebate credit, which is line 30 on your 1040 on your 2020 taxes? Okay, so anybody who did not uh, get your stimulus, or if you had a baby and they don't know about it, you could do it a recovery rebate credit, uh, or simply file your 2020 tax return claiming that dependent. Right. So the bottom line before you check that box on line 30 is you have to get it traced first. Right. So uh, to make sure that you're not double dipping and getting two credits. Right. That's right. Yes. Because if well, it, it can withhold your refund for anywhere up to six to eight weeks. If you put a recovery rebate credit on your tax return that you're not entitled to. OK, sounds good. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad we got that clarified. So we'll. Um, will all stimulus recipients receive a 1444 tax form? How does it look like? Should you wait to receive it before you file your 2020 taxes? Okay, no. So what that, it's really, it's not a tax form. It's actually a letter uh, from, and it's from the White House. So most people didn't even realize it was a tax form. Um, so, but if you know if you got your stimulus or not, so we don't actually need that form to file your tax return. Uh, you'll know if you got your stimulus and we'll ask you those questions and you just put that on your return that you did get it so that you don't double dip. All right, sounds good. So that sorted out the confusion. So it's not an important paper that you need in order to file your taxes. It's just pretty much a letter from the White House saying that you received your stimulus check, right? Yes, and what that payment was for, yeah. Okay, sounds good. And then uh, something else I wanted to mention is uh, if you make $72,000 or less, now you can file your federal tax return for free uh, through the IRS free file program, right? How, how, does, uh, how do people get involved in doing that? Well, if you go to irs.gov, you, you certainly could do that. Um, I don't necessarily recommend that though, um, especially if you, you know, you're maybe entitled to some credits that you wouldn't otherwise know that you're entitled to. So I would seek out a tax professional's assistance for that. And that's where you guys come in, right? Just to make yeah. sure um, everyone gets the needed help in because sometimes um, filing your taxes can be complicated, right? So what are some of the things sometimes, that you offer yes. that, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay, sounds good. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time today and asking those questions, th those uh, that are frequently asked, um, especially the timing with um, it being uh, tax season and also because a lot of Americans are waiting to get their stimulus checks starting today. So thank you so much for your time, Jennifer. All right, and You're we'll very have, welcome. Uh, thank you, and happy St. Right. Patrick's Day. All right, have a great day. So we'll have uh, more information on our website, GrowCentralValley.com, and we will have an article up uh, where we can see a recap of all those questions that were answered today. Have a great day.